Oh my god, this guy is literally lagging everywhere. I can't hit him. Hello YouTube, welcome to another Logris video. Today I'll be discussing over the Super Raid and Tyrant Gear or Gar Gargantuan versus Tyrant Gear that we have currently in Global Logris. So let's go ahead and get things started. So most of the time, um, I'm going to have to clear up my inventory for this. Uh, magic Gear uh, is more on the Magic side of the gear set, like Magic Defense and uh, Physical Defense, whereas, um, or Magical Defense and Magic Attack. Whereas physical gear is of course like HP, physical defense, and physical side. Uh, and that's this. That does stand corrected. However, there is a little bit of change with the difference in gear com with magic and physical in global. Um, it is a, it's more like balanced in a sense in the Japanese version compared to um, the uh, global version. So I'll go ahead and show you guys. So let me go ahead and withdraw my gear real quick. Pull these out of my thing. And we'll go ahead and get this started. All right, so um, let me go ahead and get, get the other one first too. Uh, so most thing, most of the things I want to touch on is the um, the uh, is the shoes. Do I brain fart it so badly there? Yes, the shoes. I want to talk mostly about the shoes because the shoes are the ones that are best for each class. So, uh, Magic Water was the first one to come out for Magic Shoes, and these give like 7,000 elements, some good amount of HP, a little bit of defense, and all that jazz. This is the basic one. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit higher than this, but for some reason, 7,000. These shoes are okay. In my opinion, these are okay shoes. Um, in terms of what you want, I say as of right now because magic shoes are heavily, heavily nerfed. Like if I would compare to like my uh, physical shoes with my magic shoes, like at level like my fire shoes are level two. These are this is level one, and uh, both of them are level seventy. But this gives eight thousand three hundred versus seven thousand, and it gives HP, it gives physical t uh, physical attack, less crit. I don't know why it has crit to begin with, but it ha and I lose that on some agility. So if you're like a desperado. These shoes are the way to go. Physical shoes are the way to go. And for most cases it is because of the HP and the element. Crit is not needed later on because most Desperados can, can get the um, critical boot, uh, critical buff and the stats. So they don't need that. Um, assassins, I'd say go with these shoes as well because they give higher element. And it gives a little bit more HP that are really, really nice. You lose out on the magical attack and the agility, but that's perfectly fine. You don't really need it because bosses are going to hit you a lot anyways later on. And magic attack falls off later and regardless. So, uh, definitely those for, as well. As a relief, same shoes. Honestly, if I were to say right now, guys, physical shoes are the best for each, for every class. Because if I'm looking at this pure element, which is why sh uh, shoes are mainly used. 7,000 versus 8,300 at level 1. Easy, easy choice there. As for gloves, um, gloves, it differ. I ch I use it for like if you're desperate, I'll use the physical physical one obviously, and if you're like a uh, assassin or a leaf or a sword mage, go ahead and use the um, magic one. It gives high physical attack and high magic attack, so just pick the one accordingly and work with that. Um, as for hats, hats uh, are <coughs> a little bit different. I would recommend. Uh, Cause these give a lot of critical. These hats give a lot of critical. If you're desperado and you have a really hard time getting a lot, a lot of crit, go ahead and use these. They give like 2,000, I think, on boost, or 1,000, like 500 ish around there. So go ahead and use those if you guys have trouble um, getting the crit. I personally don't have problems with it because I have my Valkyrie to boost, as well as like a decent amount of uh, stats with it, and I have my Dark Kelpie. I'm working on still boosting my crit still, but as of right now, Desperado hat is perfectly fine for me, so I don't go ahead and need it. So, if you have, let's say I'm at like 1,500, go ahead and use that um, the uh, hat, the super raid hat for melee. If you're a magic or like if you're an assassin or leaf, I would stick to your own personal hat, like assassin hat and leaf hat, because the magic hat gives agility, 
However, that magic hat is very, very good. Very, very good for um, uh, supports. Because it gives agility, gives a decent amount of defensive stats, gives a little bit of cooldown reduction in case Valkyries aren't available. So it is very, very nice to have. So definitely, if you are a support, go ahead and get the, one of these. You don't have to get all elements, just one is perfectly fine. So go ahead. And just, I picked Water One because Water One was the first to come out. And this is the one I'm going to keep for the rest of the game. I'm not going to level any other magic hats. Um, as for pants, um, I personally hate the magic pants because it's only for magic defense, nothing else. If I were to pick, if you were to use pants, I would go ahead and use the physical one because it gets high physical defense as well as HP. So definitely, if you are support, use this one. And if you are a um, DPS class and you want to pick more survivability for like solo missions or solo solo fights, go ahead and use the physical pants as well. As for the armor top, physical one, always it is the best. HP flat on is amazing. As for the magic one, this one gives like magic defense I think. I think I've seen situations where it's pretty useful, but most of the time I don't think it's that great for obvious reasons. So if I were you guys, because it gives like EP and whatnot, physical is the, all, is the way to go. So uh, for most cases, uh, for pieces individually, all physical physical is good. L uh, hat and armor is a little bit questionable, but pants, uh, gloves, and gl uh, shoes are the way to go for uh, physical. And for magic, I will go ahead and just use only the hat. If you want element for shoes, just go ahead and use the physical one. For some reason, the magic one is nerfed in global. So, uh, those are the only armor pieces I want to touch on, guys. So, gloves, shoes, and pants for physical, and hat for magic. So, thank you all for watching. That was just a quick video discussing over Super Raid and Tyrant gear and Gargantuan gear. And I will see you guys in the next video.